Hello. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the variance and the standard deviation, which are the measures of variability. Variation and standard deviation help us answer how far is the each data point from the mean. Before we implement this function in Power BI, let's try to understand what this means with some definition and also with the help of simple example in Excel. Here we have the definition and the syntax returns the variance of a sample population. And we have the syntax and it takes one parameter that's a column name as a reference or argument and return value, a number with the variance of a sample population. And we have some remarks and also the formula here to calculate uh, the variance manually and, and some example. And if I go to the other tab here, we have the definition and the syntax to calculate the standard deviation for sample population. So again, it takes uh, one parameter or argument and return value, a number that represents the standard deviation of a sample population. And again, we have the formula and some example as well. So in short, standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So before we try to implement this function in Power BI, let's try to do some simple example in Excel and then later let's move to Power BI. So I have some sample data here and I will be using this data to calculate the variance and standard deviation. So I have two sets of data on the class A math score and class B math score. So now let's try to understand the variability using this data. So I have the formula here. If I want to calculate this manually, we have a standard deviation. That's a sigma. And then we have the formula here, square root of x minus x bar divided by n minus one. So first let's try to use this formula and then calculate the values. So class A math score uh, starts from 86 until 91 and we have a class B uh, starts from 89 and we have some the low, as low as 83 as well and 80 as well. And for class A, we have the lowest 76. So as you can see here, we have the formula that's a sum of uh, X minus X bar square. So now let's calculate, uh, first let's calculate the X bar that's a uh, mean, right? So I'm gonna calculate the average, which is the mean for class A. So 86, that's the average or the mean for class A. Similarly, I'll do the same thing for class B, average of class B. So I got the mean. So if you look at the mean or an average, both look alike, right? Both have 86. So this will not help you to understand the variability, right? So, now what we are going to try to do is use the standard variation, uh, variance and standard deviation to calculate the variability. So now X minus X bar, right? So I need to calculate X minus X bar for class A equal to, this is the X minus X bar, which is my average. I'm going to hard code this using function F4. So I have the numbers here. And then I'm gonna square this. Open brackets to the power, raised to the power of two. Okay. And then drag this formula. So I got my X minus X bar, right? I'm gonna raise to the power of two. This is what I got. Similarly, I'll do this for class B as well. X minus X bar raised to the power of two, okay? So how will I do that? Is equal to class B, that is X minus X bar, that's 86. Hard code this using function F4. And then I'll square this. Okay. So now I have the totals here. So what I'll do to calculate the variance, variance, equal to sum of this, okay, divided by 
n minus 1. If you look here, the formula, it's n minus 1. So the number of sample size here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? 5 minus 1, that's 4, right? So I have the variance here. Okay, I need to use the brackets here. And now let's do the same thing for class B variance. Sum of this divided by n, that is sample n minus one, okay? So 22.5. So I, uh, I was able to calculate the variance manually. So now uh, we know the standard deviation is the square root of variance. So how will I do that? Equal to square root of 62.5, okay, 7.91. That's the way, uh, standard deviation for class A. Similarly, I'm gonna calculate the standard deviation for class B, square root of variance, right? So I have 4.74. So now I was able to find the uh, standard deviation and variance using this formula. Now Excel also comes with a built-in function. So you can directly calculate it using the variance, right? For class A, so 62.5. And for class B, I'm gonna use the built-in function here. So I have the variance with the help of Excel built-in function. So for standard deviation also, it comes with a built-in function. I'm gonna use standard deviation for class A. And for class B. So 4.74. So this is how we calculate the variance and standard deviation. The reason I, I wanted to go through this step-by-step uh, -step is we should also know what's happening in the background, right? So when we say standard deviation and variance, how the calculation actually happens in the background. So, and that's the reason I did this manually first and then later use the built-in function so that you are aware of uh, what's happening in the back end. So now we can try to use the same data set and calculate the standard deviation and variance in Power BI using the built-in function. Let's go to PBI. So I have this PBI file and I have the same data loaded into this PBI file. And I have uh, just added four card here to uh, calculate and place the variance and standard deviation for class A and class B respectively. So first let's create a new measure for uh, to calculate the variance. And call this as where, maybe class A first. Okay. So again, uh, this is sample variance dot s. So let's do it for class A. And now let me drag this to the first card here. So I have the variance for class A, 62.50. This is exactly what we noticed in Excel as well. Now let's do the same thing for class B. Call this as variance class B equal to variance sample class B scores. And now let me bring this to the second card here. So 22.50. So we got the variance for class A and class B. We already know uh, the standard deviation is the square root of variance. So I'm gonna use standard deviation. Call this as standard deviation class A first equal to standard deviation sample equal to and the column reference. So 7.91 and let's do the same thing for class B. equal to standard deviation class B. 
So now if I bring this here to the card, 4.74. This is exactly what we noticed in uh, Excel as well. So this is how we calculate the standard deviation and variance in Power BI. I hope this video was helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to share with your friends or colleagues. They might be, uh, it might help, uh, it might help them in future course of uh, their studies. Okay. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.